Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I bring you the 511 Ferro Knife. I picked this knife up for $17 on clearance today and I wanted to do a review on it because there's only about three reviews on YouTube and two of those are a minute short, the other one's in Spanish. I could understand the review, but I figured I'd make a review in English for all of y'all that are interested that's longer than a minute and see how, how this knife turns out. So it's pretty interesting to me. I, I like the, the color. It's orange, so it's bright and easy to see. And it fits it because it's called the ferro knife. So it has a uh, little ferro rod here. And it's a survival knife, as, as they advertise it. It comes with the Kydex sheath with a clip as well. So just so y'all can see some of the specs, 2.3 inch drop point blade, 420 J2 stainless steel blade, a ferro spark rod with lanyard, and a sheath with an exposed strike edge. That's pretty much all there is to it. We're gonna go ahead and open up this package and see what's inside. All right, it's finally out of that horrible packaging. I hate blister packaging. And I wanted to pick up the knife just because I usually start with the sheath, but this thing drew my attention a lot. I wanted to see what it's all about. Take off this little protector. Get this out of the way. All right. It is made in China, as you can see there. So it has this little finger groove and a thumb groove on the top. So even though it is a small, small knife, it's very easy to hold on to. They also left this edge exposed right here for uh, this little 90 degree spine section without a coating in order to strike your ferro rod. So it's sharp, feels pretty sharp out of the box. We are going to do a little test on the edge right now. Okay, so we're going to do a little paper test. Pretty good. Yep, this thing comes very sharp out of the box, which is nice for a survival knife. I'm going to try this test again. There, I'd say it cuts pretty well through paracord. There you go. So now let's get to the, the sheath real quick. slides right in no rattling I do like that they added a clip to it it's a pretty cool little clip made out of metal it's bolted in here and it has the exposed edge right here I don't know if they left that exposed for you to strike your fire striker yeah there it is so I didn't have the knife in all the way earlier now it's very locked in place. There it is. And then that does leave the exposed edge for your fire steel. Let's get that thing out. It is so. It does clip in pretty nicely. And it feels secure. Not to mention it also has this little bungee that you can use to kind of keep it a little more secure. I'll probably put it up here. just like that and I wouldn't be worried about it going anywhere so yeah the reason they left this exposed was so you can use a fire steel like that we are going to test this in a little bit and attempt to start a fire with it to ensure that this thing is ready for when you need all right so we're going to attempt to light this It is shooting off good sparks, so I'm going to attempt something else. I'm going to try and grab something a little drier so we can make this happen. Alright, so I ended up bringing a little piece of tissue with some cooking oil on it. That's what I usually keep in a Ziploc bag 
when I need to start a fire. Let's see if this works. Finally got this thing going. Did take a little bit. Definitely not as easy to light a fire with this thing than with my larger ferro rods. But I did figure out the best technique for this one is to keep the knife down close to your tinder and pull your striker up fairly quickly. So this is what it looks like after lighting one fire with it. Not too bad, it doesn't have a, a whole lot of wear. This is what the knife looks like. The coating's still good. Everything's fine. Time to store the ferro rod again. Put it in the sheet. So there you go. The 511 ferro knife. So my thoughts on it is the ferro rod is a little short. I have an Uber Lieben and I have a Bushcraft Survival ferro rod. And both of those throw out a lot of sparks and I believe I mean, they may burn at the same temperature, but it just throws a lot more sparks. So it's a lot easier to get the fire going. And your tinder can be a little bit less dry and still light up. Here with this little pile, we had enough trouble just using the, the shavings from the stick. I had to go get a piece of tissue. So I would say this can start a fire in a pinch. And maybe some of y'all that are more experienced can also start a fire way faster than I did with this. It took me about five minutes. I think that's acceptable, but you have to make sure you have dry tinder with you or else it'll be a real pain in the butt. All right, thanks for watching guys and see you on the next video.